Nice. Hello, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the class. This class with a lot of rain and hurricane and things like that. One. So I hope everybody is fine. Uh, let's be careful, right? So if you are going to your work and if it's raining a lot, try to check the conditions and check the traffic and many other things. So it's very important that you you be are careful on everything because I mean sometimes little things happen. I mean sometimes because of the rain, it can be a landslide or a tree that falls down on this on the street, things like that. So also be careful about the flu. Remember that when it's raining a lot, uh, everybody can get sick, right? So it's important to have coffee, tea, chocolate, things like that one that are going to keep you one very good, nice illness. So yeah, let's be careful on many things because uh, I mean, maybe it's not going to be a big deal, but we need to be careful. Uh, watch out everywhere that we go. So uh, just a few by now, but we're going to start by checking the attendance. So let's see. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Present teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, teacher. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Okay, so. Present teacher, por si ya me había mencionado. Present. Okay. Very good, of course. Thank you. Also you, Aida. Present teacher. Very good. I'm Welcome. sorry for this day. Que no le había oído. Ah, okay. <laughs> A lot of rain. Yes. Actually, we were saying that at the beginning of the class, right? So let's be careful when you're driving, when you are going to your work or back home. Also, let's be careful with trees. Sometimes trees fall down because of the rain. Or also be careful about the flu or the cough because we get sick when there is a lot of rain. So let's be careful on those things. Okay, but it's very nice to be here with you. It's Monday. Nice. And it's almost finishing tomorrow is Halloween and then we have November and then we have Christmas and another year is coming in mind how fast is everything going right it's crazy so let's get ready for the holidays let's see what happens <laughs> good so we're going to continue with the class and we're going to continue with the presentation and we were speaking about franchise, as you may remember. So let's speak a little bit more about that one. And uh, this is the exploration process. Um, so this is like uh, something related to some uh, research that we made last week, as you may remember. So the exploration process. So uh, as you may remember, we were speaking that one of the things that or one of the kind of companies that can come to a distribution channel uh, is a franchise, right? So uh, also you research about 
how they can uh, get some requirements. So another people, another companies can be part of the franchise, right? So this is something that we call the exploration process, okay? So the first one says introduction, introduction call. And uh, this is like how you can meet or, uh, well, I, I guess somebody, somebody as I remember was presenting the um, uh, subway process, right? That was very complete, very nice. So this is like the first part, right? Like how to, to approach. Sometimes when you want to get a franchise, what you want to, to do is to know, to know the requirements, to know about the investment, to know what is included in the pricing of those. So this is like the introduction, right? So it's like the first touch. I believe that uh, always, all the time, uh, everything starts with that hello, right? Everything. A new job, a new company, everything. So that is the first part. The second one says, Franchisee uh, candidate online interview. Almost always it's online because uh, you are going to speak with a department that is sometimes it's not part of it, uh, it's not in the same country, sometimes it's in a different country. So this is what happens sometimes. So we have an online interview. And uh, what they are looking to, to do with this interview is something like that help us get to know your goals and motivation going into business. Why? Why would you like to be part of this franchise? I mean, money, of course, is important, but what else? Because for the company that is the owner of the franchise, it's very important to check if you have the same values, the same uh, goal, if you are kind of part of the company. Yeah, you know, that is something very, very important. The number three says franchise support system details. Yeah, uh, also we discussed that last week. The franchise is going to give you support, right? Yeah, they're going to uh, go through the entire store. Start a process. What is a startup? Do you know what is a startup? Anybody knows what is a startup? A startup? Oh. No. Well, startup is like a beginner company, right? Uh, a startup almost all the time is going to be about a new company. So a startup is that new person or that new company that wants to start. Uh, there are many companies that they work with startup companies. So for example, Google, if you are a startup company, they give you credit sometimes. They give you free usage of the tools so you can start on that. And uh, sometimes they can give, they give you computers and many other things if you are going to start. So um, that is something very, very important. So that you have to mention that you are a startup company, that you are doing a startup process, as well as the ongoing support. So of course, the initiative and then the rest of the, the process. Tools and training available to you through a webinar presentation. Do you know what is a webinar? Webinar is like a streaming. Something like that, yeah. So a webinar is where a person that is an expert uh, provides information about the business, in this case, about the franchise, right? So uh, they are there to answer questions, to explain how it's going to be the process, what do we expect? So the persons that are, the people that are interested in this franchise, uh, they decide, yes, we want to be part of the company or maybe this is not for me, right? So uh, it's like information that is provided in this. Sometimes the most common is this is, is like a, um, this uh, exactly what we're doing right now here, a, a video conference. So that is the most common. Good. And number four says franchise application. So after the webinar, after you have all the answers for your questions, if you decide to continue, 
then you have to uh, confirm, it says we will confirm you are a setup financially to, for success. So, of course, some of the questions are, do you have the money to invest, right? The price is this, if you have the money, we can move on. Number five, get to know franchisees. So you'll gain the perspective and experience of all franchisees and get to know what makes them successful. This is something very important because once you decide that you are going to be part of franchise, um, you can meet all the other people that are also franchisees and then you can know the experience that they have. So they will tell you, this is a very good business. You need to be careful with this, watch out on this one. But if you do what you have to do, everything will be fine. Number six says franchise disclosure document review. So you will get to know the finer details of the franchise offering. So this is like a document. And this document is going to be like all the training, all the support, all the advantages that you are going to have, and also the compromise. The compromise, not only financial, but also on the processes for the company, the, the prospects, and many, many things there. Okay. Then it says opportunity day. You will meet the director level team from our corporate office through a Zoom video conference. So once everything is offered, you are going to, the most common is that you meet the director or one of the, the bosses, right? So they tell you what are the values, what, what's going to be part of the company. And last one says franchise agreement signing. So that is the, the contract that you sign, right? We will come to an agreement to build a successful partnership. So legal requirements, everything is going to be there in the contract. So this is like the exploration process. So it's the process that um, the most of the companies, the most of the successful companies that they want to offer a franchise that they follow through. So do you have any questions here? Any vocabulary, pronunciation, anything like that? No teacher, maybe a comment about, about the, the, the webinars. The webinars are very popular. A way for the information in the social media. That is true. That is true. I mean, if you, for example, let's say that you are part of a, a bank, meaning that you have an account in a bank, sometimes they offer you free webinars for you to to uh, invest very well, for you to save money. Uh, there are many companies. Insa for, for example, they offer lots of webinars. It's, it's very popular. It's very nice. Currently, it's very popular, yes. Yeah, I believe that uh, after the pandemic, it became a boom, right? It became something very, very famous because in the past, the concept existed, but uh, people, they were not inter interested. But now that after the pandemic, that every, everybody was there checking, computer checking everything. So that became very, very popular. Nowadays, you can find lots of webinars in different ways. So it's very interesting. Uh, and you can take, I mean, a lot of things. For example, I was invited like two months ago to a webinar on, on how to become a writer. It was very interesting. But the trick is almost all the webinars is like for selling people. So they offer you information and then they offer you a product, right? So that is like the little trick that they're doing nowadays. Good. Let's continue. So these are the uh, four key questions to ask the franchisor before taking any new franchise. So in mind that you want, you want to become, you want to be part of the franchise. So these are things that you need to analyze. So the number one, let's see. Uh, Ramiro, could you please help me reading the number one? Yes, teacher. Do you do you can hear me? Yeah, yeah. Number one, how does how does this franchise work? One, what's the core business? Two, who are the targeted customers? 
three and how the franchise store attracts the customers. Cuatro, four, excuse me, <laughs> understand if the, if the business model is full-time operator or semi-absent model. Very good, perfect. So this is the most basic, right? How does this franchise work? So that is the most basic. Number one, what is the core business? Meaning, what do you do? I mean, do you offer food? Do you offer uh, support? Do you offer any anything that is related to that? Number two, who are the target customers? I mean, who are going to be the customer? Teenagers, women, is this a product for kids? So that is very important as well. How the franchise or attract the customer? That, do you have advertisements uh, online? Uh, do you have uh, billboards on the streets, things like that? And understand if the business model is full-time or semi-absentee. Semi-absentee, it might be, for example, uh, I don't know, Avon, for example. That is a very common franchise that you can get in a very good way, right? So you are part of the company, and then you have an order. And then, uh, I mean, you don't have to stay all the day uh, offering products so you can do it at night after your work and things like that so you need to ask those questions that is like the most basic but do you have any questions with number one not okay. for me teacher very good so let's go to number two um uh, oscar Rene, could you please help me reading number two Number two, what training and or going support is provided to franchise? Understand if any initial training and support is provided. Also understand understand if the if the franchiser 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 offered in long term. Training program to support the world world growth growth uh, growth. A franchise should not feel <clears throat> is a mystery to feature. Como se dice esa figura? Figure. Figure out where to go. The help when questioned. Arise. Arise. Very good. Perfect. So number two is related with training, right? So first, uh, what training and ongoing support is provided to franchisees? What is ongoing? Do you know what is ongoing? Apoyo. Oh. Something like that. Algo que continúa, right? Something uh, that is ongoing. Oh, yeah. Continuidad. So, very good. So number one, it says understand if any initial training and support is provided. So the first one is about the initial training. How is that one? How long is it going to be? Number two, that is also understand if the franchisor offers in long-term training programs to support the growth. So initial is important, but then uh, after you start, you need to have also training. And number three, a franchise should not feel it's a mystery to figure out where to go for help when questions arise. So if you have any questions, you need to have a contact. So you can ask that question so you can answer that one. Figure out. Do you know what is figure out? Averiguar. Very good. Averiguar. So that is it. Number three, uh, Veronica, could you please help me with reading number three? Number three, what is company's competitive advantage? Number one, figure out what makes this fa uh, franchise stand out from its competition. Two, find out what this ask you, but I don't see. <laughs> Franchiser. Okay. What what is franchise does better of 
different from other players in the field. field. Very good. Nice. Thank you. So, what is company's competitive advantage? Definitely. If you are going to manage a business for another person or company, you need to understand why. Why they are different from the competitors, right? Why Pizza Hut and not Domino's Pizza? Both are pizza, right? Of course, Pizza Hut, they have a lot of people that really love that pizza. And maybe Domino's Pizza is not that big, but maybe Domino's Pizza is cheaper than franchise and Pizza Hut is too expensive. There are things that you need to evaluate. Figure out what makes this franchise stand out from its competition. What is a standout, anybody? Okay, standout is like something that is better, is more than the other one. So that is standout. And then it says find out what this franchisor does better or differently from other players in the field. Of course, competition, right? Number four says, does the company have a standardized operating system? That, that is very important. Because if they have already standards, uh, that means that they will be able to, to provide you with those standards, right? That is going to be easier for you to understand because there is a way for you to get into the business. Remember the pronunciation is standardized. One of the biggest advantages of working under a franchise model is not having to reinvent the wheel. So an advantage there is the product exists already, is famous. People love that product. So you only need to learn how to offer the product and that's it. Don't change anything, right? They are going to offer you the train. So that will be it. And then it says, find out if the operational system are applicable for all operation phases. So do they have a standard for everything? That is very good. Good. Let's go to the next one. And this is very nice. Uh, the top 10 largest global franchises that number of units. So in my end, the biggest one is 7-Eleven. Okay, that is from Texas, but it's across the US. They have, in buying this one, in the United States, they have 56,000 439 stores, franchises. That is a lot, my friends. Of course, 7-Eleven is, is a convenience store, right? So it's like a little supermarket where you can buy lots of things, medicine, liquor, um, little food, uh, chips, things like that one. So Subway, it says US, Connecticut, of course, as I was telling you, Subway is the, the restaurant that has more stores in the world. Who wants to tell me the number? Alguien que me diga el número. A ver, practiquemos números. The number, the number one. Number two, the number. 44,489. S in English. 44,000. 44,489. 40, okay, very good. 44,489. Very good, that is it. So it's 44,489 stores. My goodness, that is a lot. In mind all that money. All the money that comes from 44,489 stores every month, every year, every day. It's a lot of money, right? We eat a lot of food. Good. McDonald's is the number three. Who wants to tell me that number, the number of McDonald's? Let's practice numbers. Charlie. 30. 
Perfect. Very good. So that is 36,368 stores. That is a monster as well. A lot, a lot. Probably it's more difficult or more expensive McDonald's because of the reputation. And also remember that, I mean, the restaurant McDonald's is, is big, right? But a subway restaurant is sometimes there are no chairs, right? Only take your food and go and eat somewhere, right? The other one is Cumon. Cumon is a uh, children's education. So I don't know exactly what is Cumon, but who wants to tell me the number of Cumon? 25,386. Very good. 25,386 stores. That is in Japan, right? Only Teacher. in Japan. Hmm? Teacher, what is the Kumon? Yeah, that is, as I understand, is something for uh, for students. Let me just check ja in. Ja Japan Children's Education. Something like that, one, right? So let me just go and research. Uh, yeah, it's like a method, and they have a lot of centers that they teach math, they teach history, it's something like that one. So it's not a school, but there are centers where you can go and and uh, learn, right? Or send it's, your kids. Is presencial, presencial or, or virtual teacher? I guess it's both. You can but send them virtual and presencial, yeah. I didn't know teacher. In mind, that is the number four franchise in the it's world. The number four, yes. And now you Asia, know. In the Asia. Yeah. Now you know why these people are so smart, right? They really love to study. They really like to, to go and learn. So it's very interesting. And if you have the chance in the future, you can, you can check the Japanese education system. It's amazing. One of the things that I love about the Japanese educational system is that they don't give grades. I mean, uh, here in, in Latin America, in the US, you have a, a seven and you are like, my goodness, I don't like the seven, right? I want an eight or a nine. But I mean, that doesn't mean that you know or that you don't know. So it's just a scale, but in Japan, is totally different. So if you have the time, look for that one. Number five is KFC. Oh, I love that food. It's amazing. From Kentucky. Who wants to tell me the number of KFC? Mm -hmm. 19,420. Perfect. 19,420. 420. Restaurants. That is a lot. Very good. I really like that. Pizza Hut, of course, is a monster, right? Of course, you are going to have that uh, franchise. So, yeah, is uh, who wants to tell me that number? Fifteen thousand six hundred five restaurants. Very good. In mine, fifteen thousand six hundred five restaurants. That's a lot. In El in El Salvador. Uh... Maybe a lot, right? A lot, yes, more or less. 50, 50 restaurants. I don't yeah. know. There are a lot, a lot. In my how many palitroques can we get in 15,605 <laughs> restaurants? That is a monster. It's a lot, a lot. Anyways, the other one is the group casino. Okay, that is in France, Saint Etienne, and these are oh. like not a casino, but a grocery store. Seventy four. Who wants to tell me the number for the group casino? Uh huh. Fourteen thousand five hundred seventy four. Very good. Fourteen thousand five hundred seventy four. Very, very nice. Very good. Okay. The other one is Burger King. Yeah. After McDonald's, yeah. Burger King is one of the biggest. Who wants to tell me the number for Burger King? 14,372. Very good. Perfect. That is for Burger King. 
The other one is Carrefour. That is in France and that is grocery stores. Who wants to tell me the number for Carrefour? 11,910. Perfect. 11,910. And the last one of these 10 is Domino's Pizza. That is also a big monster. Maybe here in El Salvador is not that popular, but there are, I mean, they are very, very popular in the United States, in Canada, in most, Guatemala. Most popular than Little Caesar. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Little Caesar is not here, right? Uh, yeah, Little Caesar is, is very, very popular in the United States. Uh, but Domino is, is bigger. But here in El Salvador, actually, the, I mean, Little Caesar is most pop, more popular, I believe, right? So, who wants to tell me the number for Domino's? 11. 11,629. Very good. 11,629 restaurants. That is also a lot. I mean, I don't have one restaurant, so <laughs> 11,000. Teacher, teacher hmm? interesting, this this list, the top 10, seven uh, companies is the United States. Of course. I mean, capitalism is there, right? So they are the masters of uh, fast food, uh, production in mass, so they are very, very good. So I, I remember that I saw the movie, I don't know if you seen that movie, uh, from the founder, that actually the name of the, mo the movie is The Founder. So it's about how McDonald's was built. That is something that you can watch in, in, uh, in HBO or many other things. So it's very interesting, I mean, how they started building this oh. and they, they grow, so. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, the United States, they are, they are into that one. They produce lots of food, lots of things. So good. Nice. And we practice number. Remember the, pro uh, the numbers are very important. We don't know when a number is going to be there in your way. So nice. Okay, and uh, there are the relevance of the seven R's in logistics. So what are the seven R's of logistics? First one, the right product. So we need to know how is the product, how you can handle the product, how is this product going on? Okay, number two is the right customer. Who is going to be the customer that we're going to send to? Number three is the right condition. This is very important. It's not the same to manage ice cream than to manage computer, than to manage uh, pets. No, so it's totally different. The right place is also a must in logistics. The right time time in, in logistics is uh, that is very, very important. A right cost, also very important. I mean, logistics is money. And the right cost. We are going to go more in deep into those. Okay? But before that happens, uh -huh, we are going to watch a little video on this. So you can tell me on that what you understand. So let me just go here. No, it's okay. Uh, hold on a second. This is it. Okay, I'm going to show you the video. Check it out and tell me what you understand. Uh, what are your opinions about this? Okay. So, just try to make it bigger. Okay. Mm, let me just check if I did it the right way. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Ah, yeah. Okay, so let's see how it goes.
Welcome to Witron here at our headquarters in Parkstein in the Upper Palatinate. This is Walter Winkler. He founded Witron in 1971 and is still the owner of the successful family enterprise. It has always been his philosophy to support employees, provide responsibility, opportunities, and perspectives. Witron develops logistics and picking systems for customers from trade and industry across the globe. Thus, it is possible to efficiently store, pick, and outsource products of all kinds and to provide them in time whenever they are needed. And I would like to show you how such a logistics center is developed by Witron. Rooted in the Upper Palatinate, Witron implements projects across the globe with employees from 35 different nations. The world is changing rapidly. It is becoming more and more networked, and product variety is constantly growing. The challenges for logistics experts continues to rise. Most people understand logistics to be trailers transporting goods from point A to point B, but there is more to it than meets the eye. The goods are provided from logistics centers that work with innovative technologies, which, of course, has many benefits. High cost efficiency for the operator, ergonomic workstations, efficient transport of goods, work relief in the stores, all of which benefits us as consumers. Witron is a leader in building such pioneering logistics centers. It all begins with the design. Witron engineers evaluate data and generate extensive analysis in close cooperation with the customer. Bit by bit and based on all requirements, Witron generates a layout, a material flow concept, as well as a computer model for the entire system, where all processes are put to an acid test in the course of a simulation. And this continues until everything fits. The design of a logistics center is always an exciting challenge. Of course, proven standard modules are the basis for every design phase. But every system is different, as they are all tailored to our customers' needs, which means that the combination of the individual components, material flows, and the timing are always unique. So, we are able to rapidly develop a solution for our customer that provides competitive advantages. In a logistics center, numerous processes run at the same time and largely automatically. After the first design phase, it is all about the definition and synchronization of these processes to allow a smooth operation afterwards. And this happens here, at Witron's IT department. Our experts deal with the required processes and develop the suitable IT solution, based on existing standard modules. All steps are documented in a functional specification and are exactly tailored to the requirements of the customer. The Programmable Logic Controller, PLC, will then process the signals of all sensors in the system almost in real time. This creates commands for controllers and motors so that the transport systems in the warehouse can provide pallets, totes, trays, and roll containers to the right destination. The brain of a logistics center is IT and control engineering, as those two components ensure that everything in the system runs optimally and smoothly. It is our task to develop the suitable software on the basis of standardized modules. This software is tested, simulated and then taken to the site. Meanwhile, almost six months have passed from start of design till today. The system is now ready on paper and on the computer. Now it will be built physically. This is the responsibility of our mechanical experts. They design and develop mechanical elements draw detailed layouts, take care of the statics, and ensure accessibility of the system. The individual elements of the system are then produced in Witron's own manufacturing facility, conveyor lines, stacker cranes, picking moguls, and much more. Every single piece has its special task in the system. What you see right beside me, for example, is a part of a tote conveyor line that will connect individual storage areas dynamically at a later point in time. Depending on the system, these conveyor lines can be either 2,625 feet or 19 miles. The same applies for the stacker cranes. Everything is possible between 5 and more than 200. Parallel to the mechanical production, Witron also designs the respective control hardware and software of the individual mechanical components. Based on these specifications, the electrician will then build the control cabinets. The signals of the individual sensors are evaluated in the control cabinets, and based on this information, the drives are contacted directly or via drive components. 
This requires the highest possible level of precision and quality, as Witron's systems will work up to 24 hours a day, seven days a week after going live. The control cabinet production is a typical part of electrical engineering. The control cabinet combines the entire electrical engineering from power supply to control. The number of control cabinets depends on the system size. Depending on the size, it can be something between 98 feet and 1,476 feet of control cabinet. It doesn't matter where across the globe the system will be realized, all control cabinets are built and tested in Parkstein. Once the control cabinets and mechanical elements are completed and pre-assembled, a trailer will transport the parts to the installation site, where the building for the logistics center was erected by the customer. All components will now be assembled and put into operation. One entire system will now be created out of many individual parts. Now Witron will bring the system to life. Some 18 months have passed from design start. Still construction, racks, conveyor system, motor drives, sensors, and many kilometers of cable were merged to form a large automated system. Ramp up can start. Together with the customer, Witron will bring the system to maximum output while showing the customer all processes and functions of the system. The system ramp up is the important final phase of the project realization, as the system is now constantly brought to high performances. We work very closely together with the customer so that he or she understands all system functions and that they can operate the system on their own in the future. Some two years after a design start, the completed system will be handed over to the customer. But Witron doesn't leave their customers on their own, not even when the system is already in use. After ramp up, Witron's service experts are available at any time around the clock. They take care of the service, preventive maintenance, employee training, and spare parts. They also perform continuous system analysis and optimizations either online or directly on site. Even the entire system operation is sometimes taken over by Witron. Our task within service is to be available for customers at any time for issues around the system. It starts with simple maintenance tasks through to the entire operation of the system that can be taken over by Witron and continuous to complete system modernizations over the entire life cycle of a system. Thousands of articles of all kinds can be delivered in time into the right destination with Witron's logistics systems. This is how we receive our food at the supermarket. The right medicine at the pharmacy? Thank you. And the spare parts for the car, anywhere and anytime. Logistics makes it possible. As a family business, Wetron places high expectations on itself so that its employees can always work under optimal conditions and develop themselves on a professional and human level. This is what Wetron considers when realizing its systems. These systems are also operated through personnel, and therefore Witron builds its systems in such a way that employees no longer have to lift heavy weights in the warehouse and can continue to work effectively, independent of age and independent of gender. The environment also benefits from Wetron solutions. Innovative technologies with minimum energy consumption preserve the environment, reduce CO2 emission, reduce outbound transportation based on up to 20% more efficiently packed order pallets, and allow the intelligent packaging of packages. This will become very important for the future as processes will accelerate. E-commerce, mail-order business and the request for same-day delivery is no exception today. This assumes extremely flexible and dynamic processes. And for this purpose, too, Wetron can provide a cost-efficient solution for its customers. Wetron supports the design of worldwide trade in the distribution center with transportation, 
in the store and for you as a customer. Okay, what did you get from the video? Yes, teacher, it's very interesting how uh, our logistic center works. Bueno, logistic center and transportation uh, center. Um, um, it's amazing how how uh, uh, created uh, or made by themselves. Uh, and um, everything it implies of the important for have all the product just on time. Uh, uh, he and uh, uh, the company um, do it very important. Your your uh, employees, their employees, uh, for, but uh, feel feel good. He, and he, 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 uh, I'm very interested in who make it all reducing the carbon footprint. Very good, very interesting, nice. Uh, any other comments or opinion about the video? Yes, teacher. In, uh, okay. okay. In, interesting that the different professionals are very important in this uh, logistic industry. For example, IT programmer, logistic designer, mechanic production, indust industrial electrician, project manage management, and service management. And the, the, the last part of the video mentioned the third uh, one element in the currently is very, very important is the, the green energy. Very good, perfect. Yeah, everything is related to that one. And, uh, nowadays, logistics is also changing, so it's going to be greener, right? Uh, Veronica. Hi, teacher. I understand some, some space. Uh, I understand the software is very important for the company for to take the order for the produce from the stores. Uh, uh, they, they take uh, the order in the software to take the call for the product in the big hands. Is the very important because they they can have um uh they contain the product every 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 store. Very good, perfect. Actually, that is very very important, very interesting website. Very nice. Any other comments or opinion on the video? Okay, maybe uh, in the past, maybe you maybe didn't think about logistics only if you work with that one. But I mean, if you are there in your house, if you look around, everything that you have there is because of logistics, right? Teacher, teacher the, the video is the uh, Germany industry. Yeah, that is in the Germany. Uh, Germany is amazing for this kind of this discipline. Yeah. <laughs> is that what, you know, very yes. good. And uh, yes, I mean, if you analyze the coffee that you drink, the food that you eat, the clothes that we have, uh, the technology that we use, everything that we have is because of logistics. Yeah, because I mean, in El Salvador, we don't produce headsets. We don't produce computers or cell phones. They come from other parts, right? They uh, travel a lot of distance, a lot of time, so you can have those there in your house. So logistics makes that possible. Everything that we have is because of logistics. In the, in the six, 60, 60 years, teacher, uh, I remember someone mentioned in the 60 years, uh, El Salvador built the calculator instrument, Texas instrument. In mine, yeah, I don't remember that one, but it's possible. I mean, uh, I remember that a few years ago, they were saying that they were going to bring here in El Salvador a uh, factory for cell phones. So it's possible, right? So we have 
a lot of yeah we have a lot of people that they build shirts and a lot of clothes uh, for example i i knew that some of the of the shirts from the world cup fifa they were made here in el salvador so in my we never know right oscar i look the the united states is the carrito the, the supermarket eh, ya hay unos de esos no sé cómo se dicen con tecnología donde usted compra y el carrito va por toda la calle hace el alto y sigue el carrito y le lleva su carrito con sus comprados hasta los apartamentos en ciertos lugares de Estados Unidos no en todos entonces eso eh, estaba viendo la página web de Wiltron que ellos también hacen esa tecnología de de, la, de las entregas así como lo que tiene Amazon that is very good very good I mean Ajá. Ajá, entonces esos carritos la vez pasada eh, me mandaron el video que iba el carrito del solo con los comprados adentro y iba hasta su destino. Y yo, aquí quizás nunca se va a ver eso, va a llegar el carrito o no llega ni el carrito. <risa> Other technology. Bueno, bueno, bueno. <risa> y, ajá, esa, eso ya, ya es con GPS, ya no es solamente, porque es bien fácil comprender en Amazon que haya una gran bodega y eh, solo le pone el código y él solito se va a buscarlo ¿verdad? lo trae pero ya que salga de la calle y, y haga con cámara haga altos vea los semáforos y todo eso ya es algo que aquí es impensable ¿verdad? y todavía yeah, no I... pueden esconder los, los cables de la corriente bajo That tierra ya <laughs> yeah, es yeah, I believe that the world is changing so and logistics it, it goes in that hands as well i mean delivery is one of the most important things that uh we have right because we consume a lot of products so part of the distribution channel is that one logistics and uh, as you mentioned that one i mean the the world is changing right everything is moving on because for example also i was reading that fedex is delivering is delivering some products with drones in the United States already. So, I don't know, maybe maybe the one that you mentioned, maybe it's not possible. You are right. I mean, <laughs> here in El Salvador is, is complicated, right? But maybe Imam Pizza Hut with a drone gives you the, the food with no problem, right? Very fast because no traffic, right? Flying. In que Saltepeque, in que Saltepeque un dog llevaba una pizza de los hijos. <laughs> yeah, ah, I remember I saw that. <laughs> so uh, those things are, are amazing I mean everything is changing and, I mean logistics is always trying to make this faster logistics is money so if you do something very fast and you are able to deliver that to the consumer in a very good way very fast in a convenient way is that is what logistics is looking to it. So that's why I was telling you that it's amazing, but it's also complicated, right? In mind that I tell you, okay, you are going to send, I don't know, coffee to China, but the coffee has to be in good conditions. The coffee has to be good there. So you need to be careful because if you send that by boat or by plane, you need to be careful that the conditions of the coffee are good. So whenever the coffee gets there in China, it tastes nice, right? So it's it's not easy. It's not easy to send a product to the other side of the world. It's something that we need to analyze, right? And uh, as I was telling you, that's why this this book, the module that we are checking right now, is very very interesting. So let's continue with the R's, the seven R's of logistics. So let's see. Headset. Okay. So, the first one we have is the right product. Uh, let's see. Ernesto, could you please help me read in the first one? Okay, teacher. Right product. While designing, manufacturing, selecting a product, the organization should, should look into potential issues that can arise during transportation. 
a special package, packaging, package, packaging, packaging requirement. For example, can arise from the products with or bulk, or bulk, it shapes or it fragility and distance of transportations. Product when designed properly will great, greatly facilitate logistics if they ensure a certain level of standardization in the product's me measurement during the design will make packaging uh, warehousing, product handling and transport considerably easier. Very good. So when you design a product, when you decide to, to produce something, you need to think also not only in the price, not only on how the customers is going to perceive the product. You also need to analyze how is going to be the logistics of the product, how is going to be the transportation of the product, the conditions. So even from the very beginning, when you are designing a product, you need to analyze on that. So let's check what it says. While designing, manufacturers selecting a product, the organization should look into potential issues that can arise during transportation. What is arise? No, arise, arise. Ah, vale. Arise. Uh -huh. okay. Dificultades. Mm, it could be something like that. But arise is something that may, algo que pueda surgir. Arise, okay? That can arise during transportation. Special packaging requirements, for example, can arise from the product's weight or bulk. What is weight? Eso. Very good. Uh, it's shape. What is shape? Shape. Shape. Uh, forma. Very good. La forma. forma del producto. So that is very important when you design okay. a product. Fragility. Or it's fragility. So if it's a fragile, a product definitely is going to be complicated, right? And distance of transportation. So that is another factor, right? It's not the same to transport something from Santa Ana to San Salvador than to Santa Ana to, to China. Right? Of course, everything is totally different. So product when designed properly will greatly facilitate logistics if they ensure, what is ensure? Asegurarse. Ensure. So if they ensure a certain level of standardization. So remember, this word is different from Spanish. Standardization. So that is the word. Okay. Uh, nosotros decimos estandarización. But it's not that in English. Standardization is the word. Uh, in the product's measurement. What is measurement? Medible. Medidas. Durante. Medidas, medible, very good. During the design, we'll make packaging warehousing. What is warehousing? Almacén. Okay. Almacenaje. Um, el almacenaje. Sí. Product handling. What is product handling? Manejo. Oh. Manual. Manejo del producto. Very good. And transport considerably easier. So, when you... When you design the right product, that means that everything is going to be easier. So you, when you design a product, it's not only about what the customer wants, the colors, the packaging, or the price. Also, you need to consider about logistics. That is very important. Any questions on the first one? Good. So let's go to the next one. Uh, Maria Julia, could you please help me with the right customer? Um, a right customer. The right customer is about finding 
the finding. cost finding the customer and creating an awareness about our product and and service. The 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 create creates greatest greatest challenge in involved in this in this in this world be to identify the customer to the target set the solution to finding Fine. the right the right customer will, will be to do a market research a market research will be give an in insight into into whom we are supposed 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 to, supposed to target then has per budget 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 one one will choose choice which choose. choose which marketing strategy to to employ so that right people know about our product and and have to access the product very good the right customer is this one so the right customer is about finding the customer and creating an awareness do you remember what is awareness Conciencia. Conciencia. Very good. So they know, right? Uh, creating an awareness about our products and services. The greatest challenge. What is challenge? Desafío. Desafío. Reto. Uh -huh. The greatest challenge involved in this will be to identify the customer to be targeted. Of course, that will be the the. The thing, right? The solution to finding the right customer will be to do a market search. Of course, we know that. A market search will give an insight into whom, what is whom? Whom? A king? Something like that. A king. Uh, the difference between who and whom is that who is the subject, is who does the action, and whom is the object, is who receives the action. So that is the main difference, okay? So whom we are supposed to target. Then as per the budget, what is budget? Presupuesto. Very good, presupuesto. Then, as per the budget, one will choose which marketing strategies to employ so that the right people knows about our product and how to access the product. So, finding the right customer is not only about finding the targeted customer, but how they are going to receive our products, how they can buy the product, how they can access the product. So, that is from the point of pure logistics. Uh, finding the right customer. Do you guys have any question about this one? It's clear for me, teacher. Very good, perfect. Let's move on then. The other one says right quantity. Good. Osayas, could you please help me reading about this? Okay. <laughs> right quantity. Give me a second. Okay. The right quantity plays a key role in logistics. If we don't meet the demand of, of product, we will ultimately lose some chance of making money. Also, if we have excess quantity or water, water housing expenses and other associated expenses will increase. So the production must be in a balance to Cutter the demand and must not make huge inventory cost. Very good. So it says the right quantity plays a key role in logistics. 
If we don't meet the demand of product, we will ultimately lose some chance of making money. That makes sense, right? Imagine that you uh, order a hamburger from McDonald's and you receive only the French fries. Oh my goodness, that's not good, right? So you will be angry and probably you are not going to buy yours more. So you need to receive the right party. And of course, it's not the same a hamburger than uh, 20,000 TVs, right? That is something more complex. Also, if we have excess quantity, our warehousing expenses and other associated expenses. Okay, so this part is about how much product you are going to have in the warehouse. This, this is very important because if you have a warehouse to keep products in the warehouse, that is expensive, okay? You need to rotate that product. You need to move that, that inventory. But if you have too little inventory, you are in the risk that at some point you are going to say to the customer, we don't have, everything was sold. But if you have a lot of products in the warehouse, that is too expensive. So you need to find the right quantity so you can keep your inventory. The right quantity of product in the warehouse, the right quantity of product in transit, the right quantity of product in the stores. That is something very, very And then it says, uh, so the production must be in a balance to cater the demand and must not make huge inventory costs. Let's check some words. Expenses. What is expenses? Uh, in this case, it's gastos. Okay. So the other one is... Uh, expenses and expenses. Oh, what is cutter? Abastecer. Abastecer. So, very good. Very good. Very good. To cutter the demand, it must not be make huge. What is huge? Do you remember what is huge? Enorme. Enorme. Very good. So we need to be careful about that. Not that much and not too little. The right Good. Ana Hernandez, could you please help me reading the right condition? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. Right condition on logistic is about the safe delivery of the proposed product. The quality of the product should be maintained till the time is reaches the end. The end. A user of the customer, the distribution strategy should be such that is preserving the quality of the product while increasing in the overhead cost. Perfect. So the right condition. The right condition in logistics is about the safe delivery of the proposed product. So that's why we need to analyze what kind of product we have, right? So we decide what is the the best way so we can deliver the product, transport the product. The quality of the product should be maintained till the time it reaches the end user or the customer. So it has to be in mint condition, the product, right? The distribution strategy should be such that it is preserving the quality of the product without increasing the overhead costs. So you need to preserve the product the longer that is possible, okay? Imagine that you are going to transport bananas. I mean, that is something delicate, right? A little movement, and maybe all 10,000 bananas are going to be in bad condition, and you lose a lot. Of course, sometimes the companies, they go beyond, right? They add chemicals or they do things that they don't have to because of the money, right? They want to preserve things that much and they don't care about cost of it. So that is not good either. But we need to, to think about the right condition of the delivery. Do you guys have any questions on this one? Yes, teacher. It's difficult 
this 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 are the right condition uh, uh, for example if i need to move uh, a lot of computer uh, to china uh, is very complex uh, for the condition for the transportation the logistic uh, very very uh, complicated yeah as i was telling you logistics is amazing but it's complicated i mean it's not easy if you are part of a warehouse for example oh my goodness maybe you are going to work extra time you are going to be very stressed out i mean this is very complex and if something goes bad i mean they have to find who did the, the wrong decision things like that were right sometimes it's a lot of i remember that i used to work for a factory and once a container was lost it was like fifty thousand shirts it was a disaster that was a very bad day if you have a mistake in the logistic uh, increase the cost. Exactly. So, uh, and that is not good because the company, they want profit, right? They don't want to lose money. So, not only the product is important, not only to check uh, the human resources, the marketing, this is key. This is key for a successful business. It's key, right? Is and that yeah, this is something that I always tell you. I mean, I believe that uh, the right, the last, the last module I was telling you that some people they don't analyze about these kind of things when they run a business here in El Salvador. Right? People say, "I'm going to open up." So yeah, that's it, right? No, but you need to analyze a lot of things, yeah? because imagine that you buy a lot of cheese and the cheese gets ruined, you lose money. But if you have a little cheese and people, they want more cheese proposals, you lose money as well. Oh, teacher, not necessary, but increase the cost for the pupusa. Exactly. That, that, is, that is a big thing. It's a big deal. So people need offer, to analyze. Offer and demand. Exactly. So this is very, very interesting. Let's go to the last ones, I guess. So the right place. Uh, this is going to be for, let's see, uh, Blanca. Right place. The demand for your approach may very geography and demography and other factors. It is necessary to market research the exact place that needs to be targeted. A certain areas might have demand for the product whereas the other areas might not care about the product at all. After, after choosing the place, it is important to choose a distribution strategy yeah. that will satisfy the demand without oversupplying or undersupplying the product at any given point. Very good, perfect. So the right place is very, very important. Well, everything is very important, right? But this is one of the key ones. So. The demand for your product may vary depending on geography and demography and other factors. That is true. Yeah, for example, uh, if you compare how many hamburgers sell KFC in San Salvador and how many they sell in Santa Ana, definitely it's different, right? Uh, more in San Salvador than in Santa Ana, right? So geography and demography are important factors. And other factors, for example, Christmas. Christmas is coming and there will be uh, an increase on some products, right? Toys, for example, for Christmas is, is a bump. It is necessary to understand from doing extensive market research the exact place that needs to be targeted. 
in uh, a certain areas might have demand for the cloud, whereas the other areas might not care yes. about the cloud at all. So definitely, you need to understand that. Right? Where you are going to have more demand. So it's not the same to open a restaurant in La Gran Via than in the corner of your block, right? Definitely stop the roof. After choosing the place, it is important to choose a distribution strategy that will satisfy the demand without oversupplying or undersupplying the product at any given point. What is oversupplying? Sobre uh, abastecer. Sobre abastecer. And under supply? Desabastecer. Desabastecer. Very good. So it's not possible to do an oversupply thing. And it's not possible to do under supply. The right quantity at the right place. Important. That is very good. Let's check the other one. Right time. Uh, let's see. Sandra, will you please help me reading the right time? Not possible for Sandra. What about okay, Mike? Okay. Ah, okay, go ahead. Excuse Sandra. me. Excuse me. <laughs> right time. Teaming is very essential. Um, is everything. Else in the process is done accurately. The um, interior entire entire process can find is the training is not right. For example, it is essential to hide the product and the shelves are in stock at the right time to carry. The demand is the product. The demand is not meet at the right time. It means we lost the competition. Timing is everything in the part of business. It is important to make a children schedule. And it's, pardon? Schedule. It's children. Schedule. It's schedule. And stick to in the under to facilitate a smooth and effective, efficient function. 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 Very good. <laughs> nice. So, <laughs> thank you. So, the right time, uh, this is the most important part in logistics. So, timing is very essential. Okay, even if everything else in the process is done accurately, what is accurately? Do you remember? What? Accurately. Incluso. Acertadamente. Very good. Acertadamente. The entire process. What is entire? Todo. Todo, entero. Very good. The entire process can fail if the timing is not right. So it doesn't matter if you have the right quantity, the right product at the right place, if you have that in the warehouse and you don't have that in the stores when you need, or vice versa. You have a lot of product in the store, that is not good either, right? Nobody's buying, so probably it's going to be broken or anything like that. For example, it is essential to have the products on the shelves. What is shelves? Estantes. Estantes, very good. Estantes, shelves. On the shelves or in stock. Yes. What is in stock? <laughs> Something like that. In inventario. stock. An inventory. Available, right? Available. In stock at the right time to cater to that demand. If the product demand is not met at the right time, it might be a loss of competition. So 
not good, right? If you don't have the product, the customer is going to say, okay, I will go to other store. Bye, see you. So you have to have the product, right? So timing is everything in this form of business. It is important to make a schedule. What is schedule? Programa o... Programar. Oh, programa. Calendarizar. Calendarizar. Very good. And stick to it. What is stick to it? Determinar es... Okay, when you say stick to it, it's uh, something apegarse. Apegarse a el horario, en este caso. So stick to it, right? In order to facilitate smooth, what is smooth? Okay, smooth is like suave, relax. Okay. So with no problem. So for example, when you have a smoothie, a smoothie is something very nice, very, very soft, very good and efficient function. So the right time is a must in logistics. You have to have everything, but the time has to be the, the perfect time. And of course you need to analyze how everything is moving on. Perfect, do you have any questions here? For me, not teacher. Good. Let's move on then. Uh, we're not going to check that yet. Okay. So let's go back to the book. And uh, this is the last part of the unit number one. Says the distribution channel, I will be able to provide suggestions to retailer businesses. And then it says, let's start. It is important for retailer stores to know the strengths and witnesses of the competition. What is your opinion about the following? The customer is always right. Do you agree? The customer is always right? What do you think about that? Repeat uh, teacher, the, the question. So do you agree on the phrase that says, the customer is always right. Do you agree on that? Yes, I think the mm. customer are very. It's depend. It's depend. I don't know, teacher. Mm, well, it's I agree. Well, it's it's not necessary. Uh -huh. No, no, uh, not necessary. Yes. Very good. Yeah, that depends. I believe in the business the situation and things. Uh, when they say the customer is always right, is because you want to satisfy the customer. But sometimes it's not possible. Right? I mean, if you go to Tigo and you say, "I want the cell phone in one dollar," huh, of course they are going to say, "No, thank you." But right? you're not right. So depends. Depends on some things, right? <laughs> All right, we're gonna read about this part. I'm going to read and you are going to check uh, the pronunciation and then you are going to read, okay? So it says, uh, the following habits are repeatedly observed among many successful retailers. Prioritizing is key. Scheduling time limits and deadlines, even as your own bus can help make retailers stay focused on and on schedule, eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't be. Letting go is a must. Successful retailers analyze these situations as opportunities to learn from versus building themselves up over. The more retailers know through our data, the better they are in supporting their customers. Training staff is vital. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to reap the rewards of strong associates and as a result, strong sales. Knowing the competition is a priority. This type of analysis allows retailers 
to recognize new industry trends, missed opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. Shifting store inventory is okay. Successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customers versus themselves. Listen to customers, react to customers' strengths, work with vendors, and respond to what customers want. That is how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your source. Pronunciation questions. Teacher, the, the, the first word, oh, prioritizing. 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 Okay, thank you. Good. In, in the in the same line, the main the Veronica mentioned, uh, prioritizing is K, uh, period. Uh, scheduling. 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 Okay. Scheduling. 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 Okay. Okay. Any other question in pronunciation? Okay. Let's check then. Let's uh, let's practice, of course. Um, Ernesto, let's start with you. Okay, teacher. The following habits are repeatedly observed among many successful retailers. Prioritizing is K. Scheduling limit, time limits are deadlines, even as your own boss can help make retailers stay focused and on schedule, eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't be. Letting go is a must. Successful retailers analyze this situation as opportunity to learn from versus beat, beating themselves up over. The more retailers now through hard data, the better they are in supporting their customers. Training staff is vital. Viral. The key, viral. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to reap that reward of a strong associates and as a result, a strong sales. Knowing that competition is a priority. 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 This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends, missed opportunities, new strategies, to, com to compete for sales and other ways to stay afloat in the com competitive retail marketplace. Shipping store inventory is okay. Successful mer merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customers versus themselves. Listen to customers, react to customers' trend work with vendors and respond to what customer want. That is how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores. Very good, perfect, thank you. Ramiro is next. Yes, teacher, excuse me. Please read. The following habits are repeatedly observed among many successful retailers. Prioritizing is prioritizing. Key. Prioritizing is key. Key. Scheduling 
scheduling time limits and deadlines, even as your own boss, can help make retailers stay focused and on schedule, eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't show show be. Letting go is a must. Successful retailer analyze their this situation as opportunities to learn be, uh, from from versus beating themselves up over. The more retailer now throw hard data, data, the better they are in supporting their customers. Training staff is vital. 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 Training staff is vital. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to repeat, uh, to reap the rewards of, uh, of a strong association and as a result, a strong sales. Knowing the competition, the competition is a priority. The type of analysis allow retailer to recon recognize new industry trends, missile opportunities, new strategy to compete for sales and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. Shifting store inventory is okay. Successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customer versus uh, themselves. Uh, listen to customer, react, uh, react to customer trends, work with vendors, and respond to what customer want. That is how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores. Very good, perfect, thank you. Veronica, you're next. Okay. The following edits are repeatedly observed among many successful retailers. Prioritizing is key. Scheduling time limits and deadlines. Even as your own boss can help make retailers stay focused and on schedule. Eliminating extra time spent where is shown. Letting go is a must. So several retailers analyze these situations as opportunities to learn from versus beating its tens of up over. The more retailers now throw hard that date. The better they are is supporting their customers. Training staff is vital. The key is better. Okay, training says is better. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to reap the rewards of strong associates and as a result, strong sales. Knowing the competition is a priority. Priority. This priority. This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends, missed opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive hotels marketplace. Shift, shifting store inventory is okay. So several merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customers versus themselves. Listen to customers, react to consumer trends, work with vendors and respond to what customers want. That is how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Next one is going to be Jose Alfredo. Is it possible for you? Not possible. Oseas. Okay. The following habits are repeatedly observed among many successful retailers. Prioritizing is key. 
Scheduling time limits and deadlines, even as your own boss, can help make retailers stay focused and on the schedule, eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't be. Letting go is a must. Uh, successful retailers analyze this situation as opportunities to learn from versus beating themselves up over. The more retailers know through hard data, the better that I, they are in supporting their customers. Training and staff is, a, is vital. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to reap the rewards of strong associates. As a result, strong sales. Knowing the competition is a priority. This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends, miss opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales, and other ways to stay afloat in competitive retail market points. Shifting and store inventory is okay. Successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customers versus themselves. Listen, listen to customers, react to customer trends, work with vendors and respond to what cons customers want. That is how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores. Very good, perfect. Now, Juan Roberto. The following habits are repeatedly observed among many successful retailers. Priorita prioritizing is key. Scheduling time limits and deadlines, even as your own boss, can help make retailers stay focused and on and scheduled, eliminating yes. extra time schedule, okay? Eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't be. Letting go, it is, is a must. Successful retailers analyze these situations as opportunities to learn from versus beating themselves up over. The more retailers know through hard data, the better they are in supporting their customers. Training staff is, is vital. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to reap re, to re the rewards of strong associates and as a result, the strong sales, knowing the competition is a pri priority. This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends, missed opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales, and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. Shifting store inventory is okay. Successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customers versus themselves. Listen to customers, react to customer trends, work with vendors, and respond to what the customer wants. That is how you, you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores. Very good person, thank you. Blanca Tunaka. The following habits are repeatedly observed among many successful retailers. Priori prioritizing scale. Prioritizing. Prior prioritizing scale. Scheduling, scheduling time limit and deadlines, even as your own bus can help May retailers stay focused and on schedule, eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't be. Letting go is most successful. Retailers analyze this situation, has opportunities to learn from versus beating themselves hop over. The more retailers know through our dat data, the better they are in, in supporting their customers. Training staff is better. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to reap to the rewards 
of strong associates and as result, strong cells. Knowing the competition is priority. This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends, miss missed opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. Shifting store inventory is okay. Successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory planes to accommodate their customers versus themselves. Listen to customers, react to, cost, to consumer trends, work with ven vendors, and respond to what customers want. That is how you are able to effectively, effectively. buy. Excuse me. Effectively. Effect effectively, buy 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 inventory for you stores. Very good, thank you. Now, Oscar Rene. Yes. Uh, what line is the real fish? All the lines. Okay. The following habits are rapidly obs observed among many sources for retrials. Priority sighting is key in scheduling, time limit, and the, the deadline, deadline, even as your old boss can help make retires stay focused and unscheduled em eliminating extra time spent with sh should not be leading go as a most to support retired analyze the situation as opportunities to learn force versus evading tell Tells us this. Themselves. Themselves. Up over the more retires, no toll, throat, hard date. The better they uh, are unsupporting their custom, customer. Tiny staff is vital. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to rip, rip the rewards of a strong associate and a result a strong service. Knowing the competition a priority, this type uh, of analyze allows retailers to recommend, rec recognize new industry trend, trends miss, miss it opportunity, new st strategies to com compete for sa sales and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. Uh, shipping to shipping store inventory is okay. Susan from merchant are willing to they to ship their inventory plans to accommodate their consumers versus tell us listen to cost consumer customers react to consumer trends work with vendors vendor, and respond to why to what customers want that is how you are able to effectively your inventory for your stores with our scheduling time limit and daily daylines important to uh, retailers. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. So, Ana Hernandez. Okay. 
Uh, where is the concept? It's going to be all the blue chart. Oh, no, 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 we got this. Uh, the and... following habits. Oh, prioritizing is key. Prioritizing is key. Prioritizing. Prioritizing. Letting go, let it go is a must. Uh, yeah, you are going to start hearing prioritizing. Ah, okay. Pri uh, excuse me. Prioritizing is key. Scheduling time limits and deadlines, even at your own boss, can help make retailers stay focused and schedule, eliminating, eliminating extra time spent where they shouldn't be. Letting go, ahead, go, ah, letting go is a must, such as for retailer analyze the situation as opportunities to learn from versus beating themselves up over. The more retailer now through hard data, the better they, they are is supporting the customer. Training staff is vital. 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 Is vital. Okay. The key to invest time and dollar into your employees to reap the reward of the strong associate and as, as a result, strong sales. Now in the competition is a prior, prior priority. This time of analyze allows retailers to recognize new industry trends, missing opportunities, new strategies to compete for sale and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. Shifting store inventories is okay. Such as for merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customer versus themselves. Listen to customer, react to customer trends, work with vendors and respond to what customer want. That is how are how are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Sandra Gomez. No paso, maybe. Eh, Monica Avalos. No paso, either. Mauricio Rivera. Okay, not possible. Aida Isabel. Okay. Go ahead. I start, teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay. The following habits are respectfully observed amount, money, successful, retail. Retailers. Retailer. Prioritizing is K. Prioritizing. Prioritizer. Is key. Is key. Supply time limited and excuse me. Uh, prioritizing is key. Prioritizer is key. Scheduling time. Scheduling. Limited. Scheduling time limited and daily. Even at your old boss, it can help Mike retire. Stay focused and a schedule. Eliminating, eliminating, extra, eliminating, eliminating extra time spent where it should be. Letting go is a must. Successful retailer analysis this situation as opportunity to learn from versus versus bearing themselves of all. Oops, over. 
Martin Moore, retailers now throw hard data to where they are in supporting their customer. Training staff is vital. 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 <laughs> The key, the key, the key is to invest the time and dollars in the your employers to read, read, to reward, reward, as a strong associate, and as a result, a strong self. Knowing the competition is a priority. 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 The state of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends, misses opportunity, new strategies, the competitive for, oh, uh -huh. for sites and other ways to stay afraid in the competitive retail marketplace. Shifting store inventory is okay. Successful marches, merchants are willing to shift their inventory plan to accommodate, accom, accommodate, accommodate their customer versus their service. Listen to customer, react to customer trends. Work with vendor and respond to what customer want. What is how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stories? Good, perfect. Now, Aida Isabel. Okay. I boy, I boy. <laughs> the following habit. I'm sorry, teacher. I can. Okay, no problem. No problem. Uh, Silvia, Patricia. Not possible either. Maria Julia? Yes. Go ahead. The following out habits are rapidly observed among many successful retailers. Uh, prioritizing is prioritizing. Priori priori prioritizing is key. key. Schedule time limit and the de and detailing deadlines. Detail the in deadline event as your own boss can help make retailers stay focused and and on a schedule eliminating extra time spent where where it's scheduled be it shouldn't be sure be letting go it's amount is amount successful retailer Analyze this situation has opportunities to learn from versus be, be, be between bearing themselves up over the more retailer no draw no don't hard data that the better they are supporting their customers training staff is 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 spiral viral is spiral the the key is is to invest time and dollar and dollars into your employees to reap the the reward the reward of strong associate and has a resultant strong sales. Knowing the competition is a priority. Priority. Is priority. 
this this type of analyze allow retailer to recognize new industry trend missed opportunity new strategy to com to compete for sales and other and other ways to stay a fluid in the in the competitive retail marketplace. Shifting store inventory is okay. Successful merchant, merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customer versus themselves, listing the listen to customer Re react react to customer trend work with vendors and respond to what customer want uh, what is show you you are you are able to effectively buy inventory for your store very good perfect nice all right so let's check some vocabulary pronunciation and then we're going to go to bed. Remember that is repeatedly. 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 This one is prioritizing. Prioritizing. Thank you. Key. Key. Scheduling. Scheduling. Retailers. Retailers. Schedule. Schedule. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Uh, let's see. A uh, bidding. Bearing. Viral. Viral. Rewards. Rewards. Priority. Priority. A float. A float. I don't think that's any other. So tomorrow we're going to finish the exercise because there are some other things and check the vocabulary. But by now, of course, it's time to go to bed. Right? So let's check sure. the attendance. Go ahead. I have a doubt. Okay, go ahead. Um, if I want to say in English, uh, el pollo lleva dos horas cocinándose, how, how can I say that? Well, remember that there are many ways to say something, right? Okay. So, el pollo lleva dos horas que the chicken is being cooked for two hours. That, that might be a way. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So, let's see. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here. Good. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodriguez. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodríguez. Present. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Good teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto present, Velasco. Present, present ah. teacher, present. Okay. Uh, tell me to the teacher, Jonathan. Okay. Sorry. Maria Julia Ramos Olivar. Present teacher. Okay. Monica Wendy Avalos Giro. Present. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Aviles Rivera. Good. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Good night. Good night. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present. Good. And Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Very good, perfect, my friends. It was a pleasure to be with you. Have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow in Dreaming English. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow, nice teacher. Tomorrow. Good Take night, care. everybody. Good night.